What is up, YouTube? Today we're back with another Guild War banger, and as always, it's going to be a sweat war because we are fighting against rank number two in Kyoto. And once again, Talentless is recruiting, so if you are interested in joining, please do shoot me a DM. I'd be happy to have that conversation with you. But as always, if you do enjoy this type of content, please drop a like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and let's jump straight into the first battle. Alrighty, so for the first attack, we're going to be hitting Purse Lane, and um, they have currently Aimed, Edward, and Spirit Eye Selene. So I'm going to be running Dark Corvus as my first unit, and he's going to be on Proof of Valor. Basically, he's just going to be here to soak up all the damage uh, from the Selene coming through, and I do know that there's a lot of wasted stats, but he's kind of on leftover gear. And we finally triple S him, by the way, so God bless. Um, the second unit we have for mitigation is going to be Crow. He's going to be holding Aureus, and as you guys know, or may not know, his S3 cannot trigger a critical hit, so it's going to be perfect when we need to run it down into the Selene at the end of it. And obviously, the you know Dark Horvus does Extinct on S3, so it's perfect going into Selene as well. Now, the Destina is going to be here to tank the Edward, obviously, as a fire bait, and I do want to just have her so that we can push down the Dark Horvus. Let's say if he's at like 30% on the CR bar, and we need to push him down to like, you know, 80% or 90% or whatever it is to drop an S3, then she's going to be the best at doing that, right? We don't want to have like a Rowana or a Ruel or anything like that. Um, the second team is going to be Ran, Lilius, Senya. So we've seen this a bajillion times. Um, I was contemplating running something like an Arya team, but Red made a really good point in the sense that if Arya dies, and it's very likely that she, she or he has trapped for an Arya defense, you're going to lose, right? Because if Arya loses the counter, she's basically not a unit. So um, I do agree. So what we're going to be running with is we're going to go Troublemaker Crisette on Holy Sacrifice. And uh, that's going to be the CR push EE as usual. Just basically, you want to have 225 speed on Troublemaker Crozet, or at least 220, because his S2 does provide a 15% CR push when the back unit is attacked. Now, that's important because obviously all of them AoE, so if they hit the back, you're going to get pushed up so that you still have that option to cleanse. Um, if you run like 190 speed or even 200, you might be a little bit too slow, so just keep that in mind. Now, the second unit we're going to be having is Rowana on Celestine and Immunity. So you basically just want to have a bunch of bulk on her. 100 ER. If you have the gear score, you could probably do like 150 if you really want to stretch it. But I don't really think it's necessary. But anyway, just bulk, Immunity, Celestine, and some ER, and you're good to go. And we have Infernal Kawazu on Proof of Valor. I know you guys have seen this a bajillion times, but we do want to make sure that we have Immunity EE because the Fire Lilius can provoke with S2. And if you don't have this, you basically insta-lose, unless you get 15%, and you don't really want to do that, right? But basically, you just want to have as much bulk as possible, um, 4k attack, and basically we're just going to S3 the Ran and kill him, or her, hopefully. And yeah, let's hopefully win and not lose. So, let's go. Alright, so Aemon's on Guardian Ice Crystals. Very interesting. And all of them are pretty fast. So, I think it might be unlikely for them to be on injury, but maybe I'm wrong. Let's see. So, it's Edward is 19.7k HP. Is he on injury? Um, I don't think so. So, the Selene's gonna be 8.9k HP. Is there injury? No, it's not injury. Not a whole lot is happening. Um, so, the Selene's gonna just S1 into the Dark Corvus. We probably should S2 ourselves, just for the pushing. We're just going to S2 ourselves here. Now, if I was to look hindsight, I think maybe switching Destina to like a more higher bulk build rather than ER build would have been better. But to be completely transparent, I didn't really want to spend the gold if I didn't have to for this. Um, and it's like, obviously, it's like, oh, well, you're in town, you're not spending gold, but I mean... It, I don't know if it really makes that big a difference. I mean, if I lose because of it, then yeah, that's fair enough. But um, anyway, so let's just go ahead. We don't want to hit the Selene because if we accidentally crit, it's not a good time. We still don't know the artifact on the Selene. I'm expecting Dust Devil, but maybe it's Secret Art Storm Sword so that it could bait out like an Aimed Cleave or something like that. Um, so now we do have S3 available. Um, we could actually S3 into the Aimed, which I think she'll die. So why don't we just do that? If she doesn't die, it's not the end of the world. But we're basically just removing all of the pushing, and yep, she's dead. Perfect. And Crow is basically just going to S1 into the Ed. Um, you know what? Actually, no, I can hit the I can hit the Selene. 
Because even if we hit the Selene, right? Um, even if we get countered, it just uh, activates our S3 faster. Oh, there it is. It is Dust Devil, so now that we've confirmed it. Actually, it's probably good. Actually, pretty good. So, Dust Devil, please? Nice. Very nice. The Dust Devil procs into Dark Corvus feels very good. Obviously. And um, the Ed doesn't have S3 yet, but he has it next turn. So, I'm just going to actually top up. Because I am able to Soul Burn S3 on Dark Corvus afterwards when the Selene takes her next turn. Now, let me see where the Selene's at. She does have S3. So, if she has S3. I could maybe S1 here, and if my Dark Horse laps here, I could actually maybe provoke. Okay, well, unfortunately I didn't provoke. It is what it is. So this fight is probably going to have to get prolonged a little bit. But I mean, at this rate, you guys already know it's one, right? So I'll most likely speed up the clip, and that way you guys aren't put through this uh, this misery. So let's uh, skip forward a little bit. In the blink of an eye. Radiant light. I will punish you will destroy the darkness. And save you from this world. What are you looking at? If you're ready. Let's go. Prepare yourself. Uh. I'll make this painless. In the blink of an eye. Don't be afraid. Foolish. If you wish to fight me, your determination will what be required. Are you looking at? In the blink of an eye. Three hours later. Alright, so this is pretty much over now. So we're just going to drop the Crown S3 onto the Spirit Eye Selene. And it'll be over with. Perfect. Alright. Now, moving into round two. This is the one that's a little bit spicy. The one I'm the most scared for. And... Is the only thing in this world I so we saw that it's Alabaster on Ran and they're very slow and it's below 150 speed which tells us this was an Aria trap so if we ran Aria we probably would have died probably would have lost to be honest so I am scared so if we S okay hold on I need to think about this for a second if I S3 push my Rowana and then we S3 we could get stripped Inferno Kwazu will, if I S3 here, um, and we get resisted, it could be awkward. But, he can't de keep our Inferno death broken. So if my Inferno's not death broken, I have immunity in the Senya, Provoke doesn't land, and the Lilius S3 comes in, I can still survive because I have Proof of Valor with 3 stacks. Um, if he lands on the Rowana and kills, it won't kill, but it might strip all of our buffs. But it won't kill her because the Troza protection is too thick. Um, Holy Sack is on Trozat, which means that my Trozat won't die. It'll come back for sure. So, would the correct play be to stun Ran? Probably not, because if I stun Ran and my whole team goes, he comes back, he strips me after all that? Ooh, that could be bad. So, I think maybe we should push the Rowana. Because Rowana might... Because it's elemental disadvantage against the Ran, right? So if it's elemental disadvantage and she he doesn't land, he misses, he can't strip all the buffs. And Inferno's already going to be fine by himself. Okay, yeah. Okay. I think, I believe, the play should be to push the Rowana. Because that's just extra mitigation. Um, I'm expecting Troza to get stripped, but elemental disadvantage is just increasing our chances a little bit to not get cut by the ram um and we're gonna drop s3 here because obviously barrier revive stack buffs survivability we're gonna need everything here now i could hold my s3 on the kawazu or i could s3 here um if i kill the ram we're we're, we're pretty chilling and it's alabaster so i don't think it's gonna be er ram unless it's like a hybrid 
Maybe if it's like a ER ring and then effectiveness substats with Alabastron, that'd be crazy. Okay, let's just S3 and hopefully kill the double burn. Okay, only one burn. If we land double burn, I don't even know if we would kill, uh, kill it because we don't have vigor. So, okay, here it comes. Rand's going on Alabastron, 13.7k. Death breaks the Troza as expected. The Senya is going to drop S3, and it's probably like 7.5k attack, to be honest. If it's this slow, it's definitely running attack boots, and looking at the HP only being 12k, it's definitely some super, super, super high um, attack. Okay, my team is about to get murked. 25k HP Lilius. Oh my f God. Finally, my sword has some work to do. Give me a hand over here. Oh, this is really bad, guys. I won't run anymore. This is really, 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 really bad. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. If I S1 into Senya, it heals us, it pushes us. <sighs> oh god. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. We hit the Senya here. Senya S1s, we heal. Okay. Let's fight. I probably don't hit this because it's gonna do a lot of damage. So I'm just gonna S1 on this. And then we're going to hit the ran again. Okay. He death broke me? With Alabastron? What the fuck? What the fuck? Okay. Um, do I save souls for Inferno? Oh my god, I don't know what to do. Do I soul burn here or do I soul burn on Inferno? I won't have enough souls. Oh boy. Okay, no, I have to go for the Ran, right? If I don't kill the Ran, I could just get fucking this is get just fucked. The beginning. This Senya is gonna kill my Troza. Like, I'm dead. Okay, kill him. Okay. Guys off their oh my freaking god, guys. Oh my goodness. Okay, we I'll S3 push the Roanna. Um, we're fine. We... I'm sorry, it's taking a while. I I'm, I'm just trying to make sure I don't fuck this up. Okay, if I S1 on here, I get countered. I heal, I heal both, I push up. Um, Senya doesn't have AoE yet, so we have to wait on the Inferno S3. So we might as well Soul Burn, because the Soul Burn for the Inferno basically does nothing, because I can't Soul Burn into this, I can't break the barrier on this, so we just Soul Burn on Roanne. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay, Senya counters. Um, okay. We're fine, I think, relatively speaking so far. The stun is a nice touch. I don't think it was, you know, wasn't expected. Um, but I welcome it, I guess. I'm just gonna S1 on the Lilius. I don't want her to throw any damage back at all. Now, since I have S3 up, I am just gonna S3. Since they're gonna AoE soon, and I wanna just top up here. This sword is the only Are you stun again. Trust. And no stun, but we heal. So Inferno is going to cut in front. Senya is only 12k HP. My Inferno should be able to kill 12k HP, right? Or 12.8k HP. Pretty sure. We strip, we kill, and I think we stabilize. Are we good? Okay, we're- oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was- That was a little bit stressful, I'm not gonna lie. That was a little bit stressful. Um... Yeah, I'm a bit- sh I'm a bit shooketh right now, but... 
Yeah, nice. Good, 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 good. But, um, yeah, I mean, I guess as you guys can see, like, um, I guess Red was right. Red was right. If we played Arya there, we would have lost. So. so. He was definitely right. I will not deny. But, anyway, I guess we're just going to slowly kill down the, the Lilius. And it's going to take a little bit. Maybe we land double burn. Oh, we do. Nice. Okay, it doesn't take too long, then. And, uh, I guess you could say that was a little bit of a nail-biter. I guess you could say. I think that's what people say. But, um... Woo! I'm just happy we didn't, uh, we didn't int. I don't want it to be me. Alright, if someone else can in, it's all good. I don't want it to be me. Alright, I think I've lost enough. Alright, perfect. I won't say nice and clean because I wasn't, but over into the second battle today. Okay, so for the second attack, we're going to be going against Nero, and we're running the same uh, Ran, Lilius, Senya team. Now, I've actually made a little bit of a tweak based on our last attack. So we have Inferno, uh, sorry, we have Troublemaker Crisette now on immunity. Because in case Senya does go first, we don't want him to get provoked and we lose the S3 opportunity. So we will have it on immunity. That's the first change. Uh, Ruana stays the same. Same bulk, immunity, Celestine. That's it. Same, same thing, okay? The other change that we've made is we're going to be putting Inferno Kawazu on a higher attack build. Because it seems like the bulk build isn't really doing it. Because oftentimes you have to... Inferno S3 without any Vigor. And that drop of Vigor, you just can't kill. So I have this attack necklace from the days of Hua Young, And I figure we might as well put it to the test and see if a high attack Kawazu s 3 into a RAN, like a slow RAN, will do the job. On paper, this sounds like it makes sense. I personally don't really know. This is really going to be a stress test. Um, just like the real estate market. Haha. <laughs> Um, but hopefully we can benefit from the 5k attack and not lose. Um, but this is going to be a learning experience, okay? Um, the second team are against Ilanav, t and the Kisei. Now, we're going to be having Adventure Ras on 100 ER, or 111 ER, and we're going to put him in the back. Now, if you guys don't know, the Adventure Ras, if you place him in the back, he can get the barrier for himself. So anytime you get a bunch of single target damage onto the back unit when Aras is on the field, they get granted a barrier. Aras can also receive this barrier. I don't know if you know this, but if you don't, then now you know. Okay, if you do, then just ignore me. Um, the second unit we're going to be running is Destina. Now, I did switch her off of the ER ring. We're going to go for a little bit more bulk. Um, we still have 200 ER because the bulk overall, it just has a lot of ER in the substats. Um, but she's just here to tank because she's going to be eating a lot of damage from the Ilanav. Um, and then the Aria is going to be on Fairy Tale of a Nightmare because obviously, as long as we have some ER, we can use Destina S2 to push the Aria up get her S3, and the Fairy Tail is going to do all the rest of the work. All right, so everything should go to plan, and it should work out. So let's just hop straight into it. Okay, so it's Senya going first at 14k HP, and the Ran is on Shepherd of the Hollow. Okay, so if Ran's on Shepherd of the Hollow, he might evade our Inferno S3. Um, God, these traps fucking make my head hurt, dude. Um, okay, so if I chose that S3 push Rowana, I can get stripped by the Ran. If I push my Inferno... And I get evaded. I could lose because I get death broken into Lilius S three. But it's a twenty percent chance to evade. Oh my god! Okay. Um. We're gonna S three push the Inferno. God, these sweat wars of fucking... I'm so done. Alright, we're gonna S3 into the Ran. Surely we don't get evaded, right? Surely. Surely we land. Surely. Oh, thank god. Okay. 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 
Ooh. I was not I was not ready to lose today, man. I was not ready. But if we think about it, if the Rand did dodge. Let's fight. Like if the Rand dodged. And then he death breaks us into Lilius S3 and everyone dies. I mean Rwanda would have a revive up would, would have revive up, right? Mind you, but Yeah, still still not the most favorable outcome, I guess. But you know. Overall, I mean if you have a dodge artifact, eventually it dodges and you probably win. Um we pro I probably would have to damage calculate, right? I think like an Inferno... I just don't know, because what if you... If I Inferno S3 on the Senya there... And she has 14k HP, and I have 5k attack plus Vigor, it should kill. So maybe the correct play might have been to actually S3 the Senya to cut down the damage? But I don't know. I I'm, I'm not too sure. Um... This is a good defense. I, I, I will give it to him. This was a this was a good defense. I will say that. I will fight until so we're gonna S three push here on the Rowana, and we're gonna get provoked. No provoke. Might as well just S one into the Lilius here. I don't know why Guild Chat's popping off so hard. Um, okay, so the Inferno is going to S two here. And then we S3 onto the Senya afterwards, but I could just Soul Burn here into the Lilius first, since I can just take it full advantage. And then we're gonna drop an S3 onto the Senya here. And we strip everything, and the burns should kill. Now let's find out if it does kill, do barrier. It should, right? Yeah, it does kill. Alright, and now we just slowly work down the Lilius and we're good to go. But I do think that maybe the 5k attack variation might be better, but we'll see, we'll see. Um, I do welcome you guys to try the 5k attack build and maybe let me know in the comments. <laughs> Sub to Vic <laughs> Oh lazy, I love you. Um, Alright, so we S1, Lilius is dead, perfect. Moving over into round two, this is going to be the more interesting one, I guess. So it, this was a cleave trap. The Tempest Cern is on MLDB. Um, we fully resisted, and the Illinav is going to be 22k HP. And uh, wait, she has crit damage buff. Okay, nice. We still we got the barrier. Perfect. Okay. So, I think we're Bing chilling now. I mean, we could S3. I could S3 for the barrier and the healing and defense buff for himself. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna S3 here. So, we're gonna S3 with uh, Adventurer Ras to heal up a little bit, get defense buff up for himself and the whole team. We're gonna use S2 to push the Arya up, as we described. And Secret Art procs there, and then we S3. And then we go, whoop, ah! Okay, there's your flex of the video, right, you guys? Um, so we S1, Fairy Tale procs. The Illinav's gonna go into the Arya. And we counter, we proc again. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. And we counter, I mean, we S2, boom. So it is Holy Sack, yeah, so this is a pure. So if we ran Cleave this, we, we probably would have lost, right? So, oof, good thing we didn't. That would have been bad. Death break? No death break, unlucky. Wait, proof of valor. You see? What the hell? This guy was cooking some shit. This guy was cooking, cooking. Alright. Alright, good defense overall, though. But nice and clean, so moving over into the second round, I guess. Or third round. Okay, so for the last attack of today, it looks like we're getting three servings of Ran, Senya, Lilius, but I guess we can put the test uh, to our new Kawazu build, um, or I mean put the new build to test. So immunity, Holy Sack, as we've seen before, we're gonna have Rowana on immunity, Celestine, nothing changed there, and uh, Inferno, again, I'm gonna explain this a little bit better here, okay? So we wanna have 5k attack Inferno because if it is a trap Ran and your whole team moves before the Ran goes, at least with 5k attack, on S3 with double burn, you can at least kill. And I damage calculated this time, so it does make sense. But again, the last time we saw a dodge artifact. So 
honestly, I don't even know anymore. I, I really don't know what, what's going to be good. So we're going to test this out. If it doesn't work, if we lose or whatever, we're going to go back to the original build or maybe tweak it a little bit to find a middle ground, maybe around like 4,500 or 47. Um, because it's really, really hard to hit 5k attack and have bulk. It feels impossible. It's just like a gear score issue, which I can't solve. Uh, for the second uh, team, I'm running... I've never run Benny Mar before in Guild War ever. And um, there was a few videos previous where people were saying, oh, run Benny Mar instead of Charlotte, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, fine. So Silius, Aiden, and Landy. So I'm going to be running Pillis on Proof of Valor on Protection Set because I want to make sure that he's able to tank all the damage that's going to be coming in because Lily is going to be dropping S1, S1, S1 into all the damage there. And then obviously we need to tank a Aiden S3 and my Holy Sack is used by the Trozet. So I'm running POV. And uh, Destina is going to be on a bulk build. Again, we're keeping the health ring and not the ER ring because we don't really need the ER this fight. And for Benny Maru, we're going to be running um, not Sigurd. We're going to be switching this over to Symbol of Unity. And we're running a little bit of a hybrid build. So we don't want it to be full DPS because if it is like a land ES3 and it gets empowered and it rips into me, I don't have Aurea, so I might just die, right? So I need to be able to tank a hit from the land. <laughs> oh, sorry. Someone just followed me on Twitch. That's awkward. Um anyways um yeah this should work um but yeah okay let's let's hop right into it I'll show you all right so rand's moving first at 14k hp silver rain so i guess it's trying to like death break here um okay so we counter which removes the skill null which i guess is helpful so if the senya does have attack buff sword has some work to do um I probably just put Rowana up, right? I probably Rowana S3 for the barrier to soak the damage. Yeah. The Rowana S3 to soak the damage for sure. I won't run and then my Kawazu is going to be able to kill the Ran for sure since we have 5k attack with Vigor. This should do quite a bit of damage though, to be honest, I think. And it, yeah, symbol of unity as well. So maybe it was trying to trap the Aria. Senya has 20k HP. Oh, it's a it's an effectiveness Senya. I see. Okay. So if it's 20k HP Senya, then I mean we just have to kill the Ran and then focus the Lilius, and then everything should be fine. Cause it's just not gonna have enough damage to. Oh my God, 21. What the hell? 21k damage. Whoa, that's a lot. Nice healing there. We're going to get more healing from the Senya. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. What do you guys think? Do you guys think a 5k attack Senya, uh, 5k attack Inferno Kawazu is the angle? Or a, or a more bulk Kawazu is the angle? I'm I'm really in between. I, I really can't decide which one is better. Like I can see the pros and cons to both. So um yeah, so this is a, definitely a full, full high effectiveness Senya for sure. Based on what it looks like. So, just gonna S1 into Lilius, since the... Actually, does Lilius have S3 yet? No, not yet. So, we're just gonna S1 on the Lilius again. We stunned as well, damn. Okay. And now we S1. I guess we S1 again, because we're gonna get S3 from the Senya here, and then the Inferno can go. I might actually consider... Should I try S3 in here? I'll sober an S1. I sold an S1 in the release here for sure, and then we can try to just rip S3 into the Senya. Or should I just kill the Lilius? I guess it doesn't really matter. I mean, she's gonna S3 anyway. So... Uh, eh, I'll, just, I'll just kill the Lilius first. I don't think it really matters. I think either, either option would have been fine. 20, 23k damage there. How nice. So it's on heal EE. So remember, whenever you're reporting stats, make sure make sure you also include the what exclusive equipment it is, because sometimes it could be the difference between winning or losing. So just make sure. But this definitely was an effective Nisenya on heal EE with Silver Rain. Hmm. Interesting. I think maybe he didn't have enough effectiveness on the Ram, which is probably why he wasn't able to get good death bricks to stick on us. So this is just gonna take a while. Three hours later. Only a strong 
All right, we have 5k attack vigor. Let's see if we can one shot this Senya. I don't think we can one shot. Unfortunately, we're gonna get roped. That's a lot of damage though. Are you ready? Okay, we're gonna get provoke locked. We're just gonna soul burn S1 with the Inferno, and we should be able to kill it off here. And should be good. Oh my God, it's Holy Sack. This bastard. Bastard is roping us. This bastard. All right. Well, I guess we have to. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, we S1. We S3 because he has no ER, and surely we land. Nice. There we go. Perfect. All right. Moving over into round number two. So Silius does move first. So Benny Mar is gonna get some pretty good value here. Shout out to um, Akiro. He's the one that was. Uh, I want to say lecture. Oh wait, you need to see our bar, right? Okay. So I guess we just press this on the Aiden, and then the Aiden's gonna die because we have symbol of unity. Benny Mar gets fifty percent hit chance when someone uses a uh, gets an additional turn. Um, and yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> Okay, um, I guess we can probably cleanse this off. Yeah, let's cleanse that stuff off. And maybe strip the defense buff? Oh, we actually got a provoke, which is nice, because he would have empowered us three, maybe? Oh, he's, oh, he's Bloodstone. Interesting. Well, if he's Bloodstone, I'm just going to go for the Lilius then. And it's 14.9k HP Landy. I'm assuming it's probably counter set. Um, I'm assuming. Not sure though. S1s. There's a Bloodstone. Landy's really cutting forward here. I'm gonna try to get a Provoke to stick onto the Landy here. Surely we land. Never mind, we did not land. But I'm just gonna S1 on the Landy. Oh, it is counter set. Okay. There it is. So another empowered S3 coming in from the landy. We should be fine. I, I don't I don't see us uh, getting popped here. So Lilius has S3 available, so that means I'm just going to press S3 now. Because my Benny Maru is gonna cut with the S1. And one turn off the barrier from the landy. I think Benny Mar is a pretty good unit. I mean, unfortunately, I have yet to use him in RTA. I, I feel like I almost forget that he's actually a unit, but uh, I'm sure as time goes on, I'll get uh, more used to it. Increases damage dealt. Oh, interesting. Okay. One more turn for the Benny Maru to pop off. Landy is just, just ripping. And we should be fine. And yeah, even though it's Bloodstone, it's not too big a deal, I think. Uh, we don't have S3 available, so I think there's no point of us S2-ing onto our pillars. We actually proc the S2, which is pretty big here, since it can't be countered by the Landy. And yeah, everything is good. So we're just going to S3 onto the Landy, since we can get the Fury uh, stacked up faster. And everything is good, I think. This should kill. Beautiful. Alright, very nice Benny Maru debut. And uh, nice and clean, so happy with that. Alrighty, so that is going to do it for today's Guild War video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy, as I enjoyed making this a lot. And I guess it was good, because today was a learning um, video for the Inferno Kawazu, and kind of figuring out what builds work best. Uh, but nonetheless, if you guys do enjoy the Guild War content, please consider dropping a like and comment below. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. And hopefully everyone has a good weekend, so I'll see you guys then. Bye.